Now, that is how I feel every day when I think about the system of care that we have created in our country. Do you mean to tell me that the people who do the most important work, the direct care workers, get paid the least amount of money? And, and then if you're good at your job and you like caring for people, the only way that you can make more money is to move away from actually caring for people? Do you mean to tell me that people with developmental disabilities are segregated in our society? And that if they do ever get to go to Walmart, it's riding in the back of the big green van, and there's a staff person right there to tell them what they can buy and who they can talk to? Do you mean to tell me that there are people in nursing homes who are slumped in wheelchairs and nobody ever comes to visit them? And the direct care workers who work with them don't have time to sit down and actually talk to them? And everybody is okay with this? A couple years in purgatory and you're all right with it. But I got it. This is a Roland, Roland's poem. I know that you will leave me. I know that you will leave. You think it's enough you're nice to me and make a tea with the extra pad so I don't soak through when I take a piss and put on sunscreen and take me outside on the deck and play Metallica with the speakers in my left ear the way I like it. You think that's enough. I know that you will leave me. I know that you will leave. I know already you'd rather stay home and kiss your boyfriend than come to work with me. I hear you talking to him on the phone. You'd rather do that than wipe my drool, load me in the van and take me to the day center. I know that. And I know that no one will ever kiss me. I know that you will leave me. I know that you will leave. And I'll be stuck here with the one who never bothers to pull my hips up straight and puts me to bed at 8 o'clock. You won't have to go to bed at 8 o'clock. I know that you will leave me. I know that you will leave. And you'll write letters to me. Like the last one, I have them in my drawer. I know that you will leave me. I know that you will leave. I won't drink my milk then, or eat my food. You think it's enough, you're nice to me. Well, Heller said, when it comes right down to, or when one comes to think of it, there are no such things as divine, immutable, or inalienable rights. Rights are things we get when we are strong enough to make good our claim on them. Now, I think, you know, that, like listening to you guys talk about the direct care of the Pennsylvania Direct Care Workers Association, it's like, you know, rights are things that we get when we are strong enough to make good our claim on them. That, that applies to workers. But I also think, you know, in terms of, like, uh, Kaz's workshop today on dual dialogue, you know, she, she was talking so incredibly uh, wisely about how to, to, to look at the needs of your, the people that you're serving and anticipate their needs to help them make it through the day. And, you know, to, to give them strength to stand up.